Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. My name is Anita Brown. Welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today, my darling? I hope you're doing great. Okay, it's 26th of September, Thursday, 2024. And it's time for our word for today. A moment of encouragement for you and I, my darling. Okay, yes. What is our topic today? Our topic today says invest in your marriage. Yes, you heard me right. And our Bible reading is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes 9 verse 9. Why am I smiling? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's continue. Verse 9 says, Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the life of thy vanity, which he had given thee under the sun all the days of thy vanity. For that is thy portion in this life and in thy labor which thou takest under the sun. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Okay. It's amazing how many of us are willing to invest our time and effort into our education, career, and financial future, but not on our marriage. If you're not married, perhaps you could remember married couples you know in your prayers today. One of the leading causes of divorce is boredom. One minister explains. Partners lose their focus, stray into affairs, get addicted to porn, or exhibit other destructive behaviors. The secret to a strong marriage is to continue to find ways to improve yourself and to share. It can be as simple as reading a book or article and sharing something interesting about what you read, or taking a course and using what you learned at home. Okay? It can be learning about your partner's career field and taking an interest in what they do all day, showing you are engaged with who they are also. Partners who want to keep growing as a couple also need to have lives of their own away from the marriage as well. Pursuing hobbies, interests, and appropriate friendship outside the marriage makes each partner more interesting and stimulating when they come back home. How wonderful to sit together at the dinner table and share exciting things you each discovered during the day. There is a balancing act in developing your own life without ignoring the life you have together. The person you marry will be around for a very long time if you do things right. Long after the physical attraction and the intensity of sexual chemistry have faded, and the kids are grown and living on their own. You and your partner will want strong connections so you can continue to grow and enjoy life together. So invest in your marriage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. If you really want to invest in your marriage, the first thing you have to do is try to treat someone the way you want to be treated. That is it. And make sure that your marriage is built on God. The foundation is found on God. That is the most important thing. So that when things go wrong, both of you will have something to fall back to, okay? Pray together. And remember, a family that prays together, okay, enjoys and lives together happily. So when you invest in your marriage, something good will come out of it because you have actually made God your foundation. Okay, you don't need to be selfish in marriage. Understand that the marriage is about two different people coming from different backgrounds together to become one. And before you become one, you were actually doing your own things. You had, you know, your passion, your plans, things you wanted to do. And both of you found it, you know, you know, dim fit for you to get married. And both of you finally came together and get married. Both of you must learn to tolerate each other, trust each other. Pray together, live together, do things together. Sometimes you need to go outside marriage to learn more knowledge, learn more understanding and come back and bring that knowledge. You understand what I mean? Good knowledge. And even if you're making friendship or maybe you're having friends outside marriage, make sure it's the right friend. So for you to live joyfully with your wife, whom you love all the days of your life, or your husband, whom you loved all the days of your life, you need to invest in your marriage. You need to make sure that your foundation is built on God's ways. Okay? Yes, my darling, it's very simple for us. God help us. And if your marriage is having any problem, please run to God. All right? Once you have God as your foundation, 
you will also have him to make everything work out for you all right and if you intend to get married make sure you get married rightfully don't let anybody push you into getting married or maybe somebody is saying this one and this one make sure you go to god pray to him and let him get you your divine partner and that is my prayer for you all right my darling that is it for today i want to thank you so much for listening and don't forget that this is an excerpt from what for today we are also reading the bible for the whole year kindly refer back to my previous videos you're going to see the chapters we've read but for today we are reading isaiah chapter 45 chapter 46 and philippians chapter 4 thank you for listening god bless you you know i love you but god loves you more see you in my next video bye bye